Well guys, it's no secret that there has been a ton of hype around Fortnite today. I hope you all have been enjoying the videos. I know there's been a lot, and I promise we're going to be back to other stuff tomorrow. I mean, we're always going to be posting Fortnite, but we're going to be back. I want to bring Rainbow back. I've got some GTA on the way and stuff like that. Um, I do have one last thing I want to talk about in this video, though. And honestly, I was going to save this video for tomorrow, but I've seen more and more people talking about it on Twitter, so I'm like, eh probably upload this so for those of you guys that, uh, that haven't seen it yet you can see it and for those of you guys who you know have seen it it's still kind of relevant and I'm not late to the party yet so um, obviously today has kind of all been about like the you know the adding Thanos into the game the new limited time mode the new challenges stuff like that but um, a lot of people haven't really noticed the changes to the map and I've noticed a, a few there's little ones here and there and new areas and new chest spawns and stuff like that but uh, there's actually two pretty big changes I wanted to bring to your guys attention because they're uh, they're really really interesting and I don't know if you guys remember but Fortnite actually said epic said that during season four they're gonna be upgrading and, and kind of like updating the map and adding new things literally every single week and uh, I mean this is week two and so far they're they're kind of sticking to their promise which is, uh, it's going to be really interesting, man, especially if, if these things start really, really making big changes, which I think they are. I think we're probably going to start small and then slowly work our way up. So I'm going to come down here. We're not really in a great spot for loot. I'm going to try to see if we can grab uh, a weapon or so. Oh, there's a chest up here. This should be good. Um, one thing that you guys may not have noticed is here in the crater, this is actually built up. Look at the spot around the meteor. That was not built up like that before. It's totally different. I think some of the walls are actually built up as well, like around the outside, around the perimeter of the uh, of the area here. But we didn't used to have all of this white before. Like this, this is totally 110% built up bigger than what it was before, which is kind of interesting. I mean, obviously this meteor landed here you know, a, a week ago in in-game time, and they had instantly had like trucks and police cars and stuff in here, kind of checking everything out. And now they're building up, doing more research on the meteor, and I'm sure eventually there's gonna be more and more stuff happening. Like eventually they're probably gonna, you know, break into the meteor, they're gonna have more equipment in here, a, a bigger kind of like mining, I don't even know what to call this thing, mining business or building on top of it whatever it's going to keep evolving as things goes on maybe we'll start getting actual like legitimate buildings and tents and stuff i don't know could be kind of cool so that in itself isn't bad but what i want to talk to you guys about is over here in wailing woods now i'm sure some of you guys have seen this on twitter but there's actually a new secret underground bunker that's been added to uh, to wailing woods and i mean it, it kind of feels like this is a theme going on here because we've had like all the little underground bases underneath some of the, the houses that have been in the game for a while that have been added in, especially in like Salty Springs and stuff like that. We've also got the, uh, the superhero mansion over on the east side of the map that uh, has the entire underground base built in and it has like the superhero masks and everything like that. And then we've also got the evil base that looks like the face in the side of the mountain. It's got like a launch facility and stuff like that. So there's definitely a, uh, there's definitely a bigger picture happening here, which is, uh, which is kind of interesting. And are you kidding me? Dude, literally rule of Fortnite. You are 100% guaranteed to pick up minis after taking a pot shield. And if you don't take the pot shield first, you're never going to find the minis. I swear that happens to me 10 times out of 10. But uh, anyway, we're gonna keep going here. Let's move this port fort over. And actually, the fact that we have this port fort is huge. I was hoping to be able to test this out and we are gonna be able to test it out. We gotta hurry up a bit because we're gonna have this storm coming in. We wanna make sure we have enough time to check this thing out. But uh, the port fort's perfect because we can, we can actually try to use that to break into it. I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure you do, but when you throw a port fort at something, it actually breaks whatever it's on top of. If you throw a port fort at the meteor and the crater, it actually breaks the, uh, it breaks the meteor. So we're gonna see if we can use this to break into this, this underground tunnel thing. I've already kind of scouted this thing out in theater mode. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over here. This is new. We've never had this here before. There's a chest and kind of like a, an RV spawn. Where was this thing at? Oh shoot, dude. Here it is, right here. Holy cow. All right, I thought, I thought we were gonna be able to find it and the storm was gonna come in, I was gonna be really concerned. But yeah, this thing right here is brand new. You guys can see we've got like a divot. I don't think this divot was here before. 
And now we've got, we've got this like garage hatch thing. And I, I feel like we just got, do we just get, there's definitely sound next to this thing. And then we've also got this writing on it, which I can't really tell what that is. It looks kind of like a D or a sun. It almost looks like a scribbled up football play or something. But we've got like air vents and stuff, like very clearly that this is some type of a nuclear shaft or something like that. You can see down in, you can see that there's no, like the walls definitely, definitely, the walls definitely don't go all the way down to the floor. There's definitely some area there where if you were able to drop down, you could explore down there all the way around. It kind of goes all the way around all four corners. And you, I mean, it, it's indestructible. You literally cannot break this thing. I even tried going into theater mode and I tried going in with the camera. You can't do that. So now I'm gonna test, can a port -a fort open it? Cause if you guys don't know, port -a forts can actually break whatever they're gonna end up on top of. So we'll test this out. It broke the tree next to it, but no, this thing is still here. It actually, it put the tires up on top of it. Dude, this is so weird. All right, hold on. I'm gonna break this again. I want to look at the, I want to get a better look at the back of this. This is really interesting, dude. Like, I'm, I'm stoked about this. You guys know I loved all the stuff about the comet and stuff. Oh, hold on. We did break it a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh my gosh, no way. We did break it a little bit. We broke it open. But you... You can't get down inside. Hold on. No, dude, we broke it open. It's open. No way. We broke open the secret hatch, but you can't get down inside. It's blocked. Dude, no way. I can't believe it. Let me in here. But you guys can clearly see, like, if we, we can get to the side here, you can see there is definitely more ground in there that we can't see. So this, this doesn't go all the way to the ground. There's area in there for you to, to drop down and check around and stuff like that. And I've got a feeling over the course of the next few weeks, we're probably going to have more of these open up. Or, I, I don't know, is this some type of an underground tunnel system? Does it have something to do with the maze over there? I mean, this is the area of the map we're in. We're kind of in a, a pretty secluded area of the map. There's not really much around here. There's Risky and the, the maze at Whaling. Dude, this is interesting. That is really, really crazy. I cannot believe that we just completely broke that open. So the port of fort is the key. But unfortunately, there's an invisible wall there that isn't going to let you through anyway. Dude, that is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. All right. Well, I wish there was more I could give to you guys here. I legitimately gave it my best shot here. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'll, I'll put that, uh, that little, like... The, the writing that was on the back of the the gate here back on the screen so if you guys have any idea what that writing means please let me know um, a lot of people are kind of referencing this to Lost I never watched Lost the TV show so I don't really know what they're referencing but again it's some type of a secret underground vault that uh, we don't have access to yet I guess I cannot believe that the Port of Four actually opened that up dude anyway guys Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I just, I found this really interesting. I, I would play this out, but I don't think we're going to make it all the way over to the safe zone, to be honest. Oh, man, that spawned right in front of us. Holy cow. All right, guys, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to leave you guys off with, with, like, nothing to watch here at the end. I was hoping we were going to be able to do that entire video and then be able to make the storm. But obviously, that did not end up coming true. I think we are going to make this, though. So we'll, we'll end off with some Thanos gameplay. Woo! We got it! Let me get out of here, baby! Rust Lord into... I don't even know what I want to call him. I wanted to call him the God of War. He's not exactly the God of War. That might be the first time that I've, I've nailed somebody... On the very first, uh, the very first landing, dude, that was insane. I'm having so much fun with this game mode, dude. Except for the fact that people could do that so easily now. He just ripped through almost all of our shields. Alright, there was one or a couple other people we were competing with. Let's, uh... Let's go up here and see what we've got going on. Scar... 
Holy cow. I was a little bit nervous about that. I saw that gold scar. That was a little bit sketchy, dude. I, every time I play this, I always try to like run over people's bodies and pick up their stuff, even though I know I can't use it. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, oh, this is going to be a crazy aerial attack, boys. We might get a two for one here. Either that or we're going to put ourselves in a really bad position. Yep, we just did a, a bad move. We needed that kill really bad. Okay, that's not going to save you, dude. That is not going to save you at all. I cannot believe he just built himself in a one by one, bro. Here we go. From downtown. That was actually a pretty good shot. Not today, dude. We're, these guys, I mean, people are starting to realize how you can just kind of play at a distance, dude. We kind of got in a bad spot here because we had a lot of people teaming up on us. You never, ever want that. But if you just play at a distance, you'll have no problem with this, dude. Got the kill. Get behind this. Whew. Okay. We can't really mess with this port of four, dude. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go to Salty. This is what I'm talking about, though. Like, I really... I didn't... I didn't think he needed a nerf. He is fairly easy to take down. Like, you, you have to really play defensively with him. This guy's still shooting us. Thought I saw somebody on that other side of that house. All right, we're gonna keep on going, boys. But yeah, if you get him early game, it's honestly, because everybody can see you on the map and because you can't really take medium range gunfights and stuff like that, it's just, dude, it's rough. I, I, don't, I don't think you can win if you get him early game. I think it'd be really tough to get him early and then stick with it the entire time. Everybody knows exactly where you're at. We need this kill in a bad way. I appreciate you, no skin. More than you know. I needed that extra that extra shield. Oh, baby! We stayed alive. Holy cow, we've got 83 health, boys. Oh my goodness. 20 people out there is no chance we're winning this. Absolutely no chance. But I'm going to keep going for as long as we can. I wish there was a way you could regen your health. I don't know. Like, maybe like a, a reusable power where you can get half health back. You can only use it every three minutes or something. It's just sad that like... When you get down to this point, you know you're probably gonna lose the next, the next gunfight you get into. Gotta watch out for this storm. We've got nine kills here. I think uh, 12 might be the most I've had with him. Maybe a bit more. We kinda wanna stay away from these hop rocks, I'm not gonna lie. We've also got the double port -a fort up there. You done upped up, boy! What? Dude, we landed on top of him. The end is near. Directly on top of him and then hit him with the beam. That is what I'm talking about, bro. I think he's a little bit too weak now. But that's not even what this video is about. The video is about... This brand new underground base garage door looking thing out there in Wailing Woods. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any ideas on what it could be or what people are talking about, how it's related to Lost and stuff like that, please let me know. I think it's super sick and I'm looking forward to seeing what Epic has to come because I think uh, I think all the craziness we've seen with the meteors and the, the you know superheroes now and stuff like that, I think this season is just going to keep getting better and better and I'm really excited. So I'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.